What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Coming at you from the floor of the RV. Got sleeping pups here and there. So we have an issue that I did not expect to ever have an issue with. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever dealt with this before, so we are looking for some feedback from you guys on how to possibly prevent this from getting worse. This little guy, this is the culprit. What he has been doing, so, has literally been chewing on our screen door. And it's every night because I wake up and it's slightly worse. It used to just be small little holes. This one is the worst. What I had done too is I had actually put tape on both sides of the screen thinking that if he couldn't get his little grubby teeth on it, he wouldn't be able to chew on it. Um, he ate the tape and chewed even more on the screen. So I think it made it worse because it was more of a more eye-catching for him to see the tape and something for him to actually grab. So he ate the tape, which I guess he pulled it through. So yeah, he's been eating our screen door. It's only a matter of time until we don't have a bottom part of the screen door. So one, has anybody ever had this issue and how did you fix it? And two, how do you replace the screen doors on RVs? <laughs> I'm guessing we'd have to order it from the actual company to make sure it fits the frame. Otherwise, I thought about putting like patches on there, but I think that that'll just be more attention grabbing to him, and I think he'll just eat those even faster. I don't know. But it's definitely at night because he doesn't do it in here during the day because they spend a lot of time outside. Whenever we are gone, he's in his little crate, which works just fine. So it's, it's at night, and there was one night that I woke up and I heard... It was kind of like that like something messing with the screen and he was down here maybe closet i don't know but either way he has been demolishing that and i want to be able to leave the screen door open but if we don't have a bottom part of the screen door we can't leave it open you gonna buy me new shoes i'm gonna buy you new shoes Woo! so <laughs> now you can Ta -da! that's what you get for buying they were like i think 10 or 15 dollars well, glue gives out. So I got my money's worth on these, but we're going to have to retire them. So we're going to get some fancy new Converse. I think I had my first pair of Converse for, I don't know, like six years or so. We got rid of them whenever we moved because they were falling apart. So I'm going to get a new pair. That's what we're up to today. Oh, by the way, guys, do y'all see how dirty the car is? Or every other car around here? Yeah, freaking mud rain. It's like, yeah, it only rained for like 15 minutes or something. And uh, this happened. So yeah, uh, I decided just I'm just gonna let it happen until we go on the trip. I'm gonna try to clean everything, even the trailer, outside and inside. So right before we take that trip, we also need to get the trailer inspected. That's something we've never had to deal with before. So we didn't even actually know how, where, or how to get it done. But we talked to them. But and yeah, they, they said it's super easy. All they yeah. do is really check tire pressure and make sure you're not doing anything illegal. Like I don't know, like that one set of people that we stood or uh, parked next to with the two by fours holding things in oh my gosh yeah that's probably what they yeah expect. they probably check for duct tape they probably check for duct tape <laughs> and two by fours or bowls on the roof i doubt they'll check for bowls on the roof <laughs> let us keep our bowl <laughs> oh yeah and these are actually uh technically junior sizes so they were $35 and they had a promotion going on where it was buy one get one 70% 70, 70 off? 70. And then Matt got an extra discount because he has his student ID so we paid 44 bucks for two pairs. There was one pair of black converse that had a cape. No it was like a little pink pink tutu like on it. Tutu. Um and I... Hold on. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? 
Anyway, Matt didn't want me to get them. Yeah. I think, secretly, you didn't want to get them. They are weird. Yeah, they were weird. They were weird. But I also got these mint-colored ones. Ooh, and they're in mint condition. <laughs> can't see them. Just at the gym for a little bit. We're back. <laughs> oh no. What are you gonna do now? Oh no. What now, Brady? Brady, what's going on? <laughs> Sometimes we like to play music for the dogs, Buzz. It's therapeutic. So the plan is to get this from here into that. It's, it's either going to work or it's not. <laughs> you got two options. Yeah. Well, this next one didn't try to game center. No, I don't want to center. Oh. It's fine. Okay. I'm trying not to. Ready? Mm -hmm. Well, hey guys. <laughs> hey. It's a cold morning in San Marcos, and so, uh, but we had a pretty good weekend. So we went to sort of like a small festival that was started a year ago. So it's the second annual Martian Arts Festival. And so basically it's just a lot of arts and crafts with a lot of random music. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's everything's just random about it. Yeah. Uh, and it's just in... <laughs> it's a good in, way to put it. <laughs> yeah, it's not even inside of San Marcos. It's like right outside. And so they uh, belong to different ordinances. And so... Uh, we Pretty were, much anything goes. Yeah, we were reading some of the comments for like a Facebook group that we used to be in in that area. And people were either not happy or very understanding. And yeah. so, but there's definitely <laughs> some back and forth there. But I'm sure that comes with any kind of new festival too, as well. So. Yeah, but I mean, you you kind of drive out to the boonies, and then you park your car, and then you walk up a dirt driveway, and then there's a guy that was obviously under the influence of something, taking our tickets or he was giving nice guy. us tickets. Yeah, he was nice. And then you can hear the music, and you walk a little bit further, and there are just tents everywhere because like you can camp city. too. I think it's you can camp Friday and Saturday night, um, so there are just like tents on tents on tents. Yeah. And then there are some vendors, like a few vendors, and then there are two stages. And... Oh hey! <laughs> <laughs> One was a pretty big stage. Mm -hmm. I was surprised with how big that stage was. And there was a DJ. I, I enjoyed the music. You sampled some pretty decent stuff, and then yeah. it was just fun watching the people. That, people that were there. watching. People watching is good there. <laughs> So, so if you've ever been to Austin, and you'll know the slogan, Keep Austin Weird, I San Marcos like, is an extension of Austin. Yeah. It's... Yeah, here. Yeah, get out here. And I, I feel like it was, like, even weirder. Than Austin. <laughs> what what was the guy that you saw? He was wearing a construction hat. Yeah, one of the construction hats that protects the back of your neck, and so it's like those big kind of safari ones with a cape on it. Yeah, with a cape on it, and then uh, it also he had a what, what is it called? Kilt. A kilt. He's wearing so, a kilt. And you know, popped out of the just walking the around bathroom, and, and then it's just interesting. <laughs> and then I was going to see actually one of my friend's bands who I haven't I haven't even heard his music before this. Um, he was really good. He's like a Jimi Hendrix like influenced band, you know, yeah. like, a lot of quick guitar riffs and uh, really good good drums too. They were so, pretty good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. 
And then there was fire twirling, yes. which was the coolest part. Circus performer type of stuff. Um, yeah, like so that acro was, yoga with like fire twirling. Yeah. It's really cool. So that was really, really neat. Um, and we didn't stay too long. I kind of, I just wanted to come home. I didn't want to stay too late. Uh, but we stayed until... It was dark because we had to watch the it was fire. Almost, it was almost 10. That's late. <laughs> <laughs> that, but it was also cold. It, it got pretty chilly. Um, I didn't bring a jacket, so... Yeah. We got some pizza and went home. So, I it's mean, it was, it was interesting. We'll definitely go back. Um, it's, it's something to go to, for sure. And I think that since there's such a wide range of genres of music, it's kind of like... Pretty much anybody will find something they like. You just have to be able to hang out for the day. Yeah. But you can bring pretty much whatever. I mean, um, it's just kind they of had like alcohol house. there. Yeah. You can bring your own. It was sponsored by Tito's Vodka. Yeah. So and they're uh, like an Austin vodka company that made it really big. So, and uh, they they sponsor pretty much everything in the area. <laughs> finish out this night with some pizza. Pizza! And I spelled my name wrong, but that's fine. Garlic knots. These old things. Breadsticks. Oh my gosh. They're not breadsticks. Whoa, They're way the better. Yes. And the next day, we, uh, I don't know what those things were made out of, but we had a gnawfish boil. Okay, so following last night's wonderful Wonderful experience. Um, we are headed to a crawfish boil. Gnawfish boil. Gnawfish boil. Because it's not, not it's plant based crawfish. Um, which I'm pretty excited about because I've never had it. So we will see how it is. Just ignore it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So that, that place, the burger place that I have been obsessed with called uh, Plow. Plow Burger um, at Buzz Mill. They did a vegan, essentially a vegan crawfish boil. Um, they called it gnawfish, which is kind of cute. It goes with the theme, and um, it's made out of, I think it was just a bunch of different, like, seasonings. And then there was something called, I can't remember what it's called, but it's just plants. <laughs> yeah, it's all plants, but it, looks, it actually looks and has the texture of shrimp. And so it was kind of weird, like just overcooked without the, the weird shrimp. shrimpy feeling. Um, yeah. So it was really good, though. They they put a bunch of good spices in it. They did potatoes, corn, uh, field roast sausage, mushrooms. the little vegan shrimps, and mushrooms. Uh, so it was really, really good. And they're apparently going to do another on the 28th here in San Marcos. 
but uh, my ne my niece's first birthday is going to be on that day, so I don't know if we're going to be able we'll to go. See. We may not be able to make it. Yeah. So, but if any of you guys are in the area, definitely go because it's it's just fun. You know, you just go and you hang out, and they just they have these huge like bins, and they put it into a cooler, and they just scoop it in. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Yep. I mean, it's just it's a, a good yeah. yeah, it's a good little springtime get together, and you get to hang out and have drinks and coffee and. Yeah, coffee was kind of weird with it. I'm sure. I chugged my coffee before, so. Yeah, well. <laughs> but I say it was a pretty good weekend, another busy one. We have not yet gotten the trailer inspected. We are gonna take it this week. I'm just not looking forward to that whole, just having to pack up, hook up, just drive. Just inspect it for a couple minutes. Inspect it for five minutes and then do it all again. So yeah, it's a plane. Well, I guess that's all we have for you guys today. I just thought it'd be fun to show you all some footage from the weekend, some local little get-togethers. And like I said, keep an eye out next year. If you guys are in the area, it's the Martian Arts Festival is definitely something interesting to go to. And I think that it's gonna get, it seems like it's gonna get bigger every year because apparently this year it was twice as big as the first year, which was last year, so. Uh, something to keep an eye out for. And we might be, we might be around, you know. <laughs> I might even be a part of it, who knows. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure and hit that thumbs up if y'all did enjoy it. We always ask that you do. It helps the videos, it lets us know that you're enjoying the channel. And then subscribe if you're new. That's gonna be it from us. Hope y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we will see y'all in Wednesday's video. Wednesday. Have fun out there. Bye. Mm -hmm.